All right, let's look quickly at how to find the uh, SQL Server uh, name. This is a great question to ask in an underlying, not in an interview, but kind of as an underlying uh, question in an interview where you basically have someone solve a problem and you see if they have to ask you how what the server name is, right? So one of the probably most obvious ways is all you need to know is what the computer name is. And if you know what the computer name is, then you can look at SQL Server Configuration Manager. And when you look at SQL Server Configuration Manager, it will tell you the instance name. Um, sometimes there, of course, is a, a default instance, but you'll see in this case it's SQL Express. And sometimes, by the way, you'll know that the computer has, uh, for those of you who know, uh, who have two instances per node, um, you'll see them both in the Configuration Manager. That's one way. And the other way, of course, is just Launch Management Studio, right? So we launch Management Studio here, and I say, hey, let's let's connect to. A lot of times, the default instance will come up, right? Um, obviously, once you're connected, you can see what it is. Uh, the other one to use. This is more for development purposes, but you can uh, uh, do uh, select add at server name, and this really helps us identify uh, what server we're using. Uh, for instance, when you're executing scripts, if you want to make sure that you're always ex executing in a dev script, um, you can set this equal uh, to a variable and uh, go from there and execute that. So it's a really great question to ask, in, uh, not in an interview, I should say, but it's a great underlying question to have. Um, give a person a computer, say, we need you to, let's say, as a case in point, if I was interviewing an ETL developer, import this data file. Don't tell them anything about the server. See if they can get it for themselves. And there are other ways, by the way, to get the, the server name. But those are just some convenient ways, and those always those work 100% of the time. But it's one of those great things to see if the person is able uh, to get that information without having to ask what the server name is.